I am Anil Kumar and here is a video in which you will learn how to place fractions on a number line especially when we have mixed fractions or improper fractions. Let us go through these steps one by one. Question is write 1 over 3, 1 2 over 3, 5 over 6, 1 and a half on a number line. Steps involved are first step is convert mixed to improper fractions right so that is the first step second step will be find the lowest common denominator third is write equivalent fractions with the lowest common denominator fourth is scale the number line that means sketch a number line and on the number line put each small unit as so small unit will say small unit on a number line will be one over lowest common denominator and five, fifth and final step is to place these fractions on the number line. So these are the steps involved. If you have watched some of my videos and know the process, you can pause and put the fractions on a number line, then check with my solution. Here is how you should be doing it. So let's follow these steps one by one. First one is convert mixed to improper fractions. So we have two mixed fractions. First one is one, two over three. To convert to improper, multiply 1 by 3 and add 2. Denominator remains 3 itself. 3 plus 2 is 5, so you get 5 over 3. The second one here is 1 and a half, which is 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2. That is 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 over 2. So that is how you can convert them to improper fractions, right? So let's write them after converting to improper fractions. So first one is 1 over 3. Let's keep it as such, 1 over 3. The second one, 1, 2 over 3, is written as 5 over 3. The third one, 5 over 6. Okay, and the fourth one, 1 and a half, can be written as 3 over 2. So these are also equivalent fractions. But what you notice here is that the denominator is different for them. Now, to write these fractions with same denominator, First step is to find lowest common denominator. Now there are a couple of ways to find lowest common denominator. You can check my videos on that. Well, I'll show you uh, two ways to do it. One is we call step division. So in that or sometimes ladder division. So you can write the numbers in the denominator, which we have different numbers as 3, 6 and 2. So we can write 3, 6 and 2. Then you repeatedly divide, if you can, by some number which by which you can divide at least two of them so we cannot divide three so we'll write three as such but six will go three times two will go one time now we can divide by three and these two could be one and one and here we'll just write one as such now lowest common denominator is equals to two times three times one which is you can write two times three which is six so lowest common denominator for us is equal to six this is one way of doing it the other way to do is like this. You can write each number. So we have 3. Write multiples of 3. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. Second number is 6. Okay. Write multiples of 6. 6, 12 and so on. And then 2. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Now from these check what is common to all 3 of them. So you'll find 6 being common. Right. So 6 is common, so that makes 6 as your lowest common denominator. Adopt any of these methods to find the lowest common denominator. Once you have found lowest common denominator, you need to write each fraction as equivalent fraction with lowest common denominator. Now here the denominator is 3, 3, 6 and 2, so you have to convert 3 to 6. How can you do it? You need to multiply these by 2, right? 2 times 3 is 6. Here also multiply by 2. Here it is okay. Multiply these by 2 times 3 is 6, so by 3. Once you do that, you can convert, correct? So let's multiply by 2, write down these fractions with common denominator of 6. So the first one will be 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, so we get the first one as 2 over 6. The second one will be 10 over 6, okay? The third one is 5 over 6, and the fourth one is 9 over 6. 
So we have these four fractions which are equivalent to the given fractions. Correct? So we're done step number three. Let's move on to step number four where we need to scale a number line. Now it means what? Draw a number line. Let's say this is our number line, right? Since all are positive numbers, sometimes we can have negative numbers also. Begin by zero. Okay, begin by zero. What is the lowest common denominator? Six. So minimum fraction you need is one over six. You get the idea, right? So what we will do here is that we'll make divisions of 1 over 6. So this is 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6, 5 over 6, and 6 over 6. So this is 6 over 6 or 1. You get the idea, right? Then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 over 6 or 2, right? So this is 2 for us. So all the numbers are actually less than 2. So this much is enough for us, correct? Now we can place these fractions 1 by 1. So the first one is 2 over 6. We know this is 1 over 6. So 2 over 6 is right there. So this is 2 over 6 for us. You get the idea? The second one is 10 over 6. So 10 over 6 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 over 6. You can see 1, 2 over 3, right? So 1 whole and then 2 thirds. So more than 1, but less than 2, okay? 5 over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 over 6 is this one, right? 5 over 6 is 1 sixth less than 1. 9 over 6. So 9 over 6, this is 6 over 6. 7, 8, 9. So that is 9 over 6. So that is how you can place all these fractions correct I hope that is absolutely clear now a question for you question for you is arrange them from least to greatest right so arrange them from least to greatest you can easily see them from the number line and then arrange them from least to greatest, right? That is also called ascending order, A-S-C-E-N-D-I-N-G order, least to greatest, right? So you can do that as an exercise. And this is an application which clearly shows how you can arrange the fractions on the number line and then very easily arrange them in a particular order, right? I hope that helps. Thank you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you.